Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene.com Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 42, Gradient Fill. Gradient Fill is a feature that PE Design has had for quite some time now and one that I have used many times over the year, especially in creating these sunset type effects. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do first. I'll start by using our circle tool and with my finger on the shift key I'm going to click and drag and that ensures that we have a perfectly round circle. I need to turn on a fill so while it's still selected let's turn on a fill and I won't be needing this zigzag outline we'll go ahead and turn that off. Since I want this to be a sunset effect I'm going to make the direction under sewing attributes at zero degrees so that it will be perfectly horizontal. Next under the sewing attributes key uh, tab under density we're going to click radiation and that's something like what you'll see the first time you use it. So you have to go to the pattern and select an additional color. It says use additional color. And it will not populate the stitches or make any changes within this box unless you click OK. Well that looks like way too much yellow so let's go ahead and play around with these different slides here and you can put as much or as little of the two colors that you want and collect select OK and that might be more like it but let me assure you that whatever you see on the realistic preview is probably not going to be what it looks like when you sew it out. You do need to do a trial sew out to ensure that you have the right percentages that you need for your design. A viewer sent in this photo and they wanted to know if they could use the gradient fill on text and it looks to be a ball cap with the spurs on it so we'll try to mimic this. So I have selected a built-in font number 32 that looks kind of athletic looking. Uh, this will also look uh, work pretty much the same way with true type fonts. So let's use this font 32 and type in spurs make it real big so we can see the effect of the gradient fill. I do think I want to outline on this so let's go ahead and put a zigzag outline around it. But you see under sewing attributes under density the uh, gradation tab or box is not available so what we have to do is convert this text to an outline. That's going to automatically put all of your uh, st stitches in a satin 45 degree angle. We don't want that. First we need to ungroup it and I have mine in my quick access bar and then I want to I want to change the directions of these stitches. So. I don't want to do each one individually so with my finger on the control key I'm going to uh, select the S, P, U, R, S. Now all the changes I make can be done to all five letters at the same time. So we'll make this direction, we'll make that zero degrees and under the satin stitch we want to make that a fill stitch because we know that's way too long even in the short areas it's too long for a satin stitch so we'll make that a fill stitch and now we can check under density it's available the gradation box and we're going to select pattern and we had already had that additional color box checked so it automatically put it in but we can change the color of that pink if you like. We can change that to red and we can change the amount of, uh, well you have to say OK first, and you can change the percentage of the different colors as you like and try out different things. I'm going to select the same font and do the same thing in PE Design 10. 
So now we're working in PE Design 10. I just want to show you a little bit of the differences in the new uh, gradient fill. I hadn't changed that much. Uh, we're going to make it real big, like we did in Next. We're going to give it a zigzag outline. And once again, we don't have under density the option for the uh, gradient fill, so we need to convert it to outline. And has a little box around it, so we have to ungroup it. And now, while everything's still selected, I am going to make that a fill stitch. And I'm going to make the uh, direction zero degrees. These little circles, these are filled in. I'm going to select them and turn off the fill there. Select them, turn off the fill. Now, so that I don't have to do them all individually, once again, I'm going to select with my finger on the control key, select the other letter so that all five fills are selected. Now we're going to select the uh, gradation. And that was the last pattern used. So let's open it up. And this time it doesn't say uh, use additional color. It says blend. Why they changed that I don't know. Maybe it fit in there better. Uh, so we'll put another color and you can change those colors as with the others. Go ahead and use something contrasting and you have to push OK in order for it to uh, uh, populate. One thing nice about PE Design 10 is that you can do the direction inside the gradation pattern uh, setting box. So let's give it... and these designs here also like you can have a hundred percent so it goes completely across like and when you select that then it's like 50-50. But that's in a nutshell how to work with the gradient fill feature in text and other shapes.